Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Let's be fair and call it the way it is, if true. That is, if the Ukrainians are you know, ordering an evacuation from an area, that means the Russians are coming over. Otherwise, you wouldn't evacuate them. But in the same time, if the Russians order an evacuation from an area, that means that the Ukrainians are advancing. I mean, the rule should be the same for both. Uh, if the news that I'm going to uh, uh, report here from Ukraine Forum, which is a Ukrainian media outlet, if the news are true or is true. Let's go and see what this article has to say. This is coming from Ukraine Forum and it is from the 7th of December 2023. Russians announced evacuation of population from occupied Nova Kakovka. Now, if true, this is what uh, these guys report. And we're going to look over the map and see what that is. Russians have announced the evacuation, and um, quotation marks, of the population from Nova Kakovka to the temporary occupied territories of Kherson region. All right, so let's see where Nova Kakovka is. So here is the map of Ukraine, and that is here in Kherson in the south by uh, uh, Crimean Peninsula. So this is, remember, this is a Russian map, and uh, the article comes from the Ukrainians. So the Ukrainians call it differently, Nova Kakovka, and the, the Russians will call it Novoya Kakovka. So here is the area, right here across from the uh, on the left bank uh, or east bank of the Dnipro river the ukrainians claimed a few days ago that they landed here maybe a week ago or so maybe in, in like in Krinky, right here and the russians are according to the ukrainians uh you know, taking people away from here evacuate nova from population from nova kakovka if true i always say that because this comes Wait a little bit. This comes from the Ukrainians and this is towards Crimean Peninsula. We'll see. Let's read further. Maybe they give us more uh, information on this one. This was reported on Facebook by a deputy of the Kherson Regional Council, Serhi Klan, Ukraine Forum reported. Now, Serhi Klan, is this a the deputy of the Kherson Regional Council. Is this a Ukrainian or this is uh, Russian? Because if this would have been Russian or they would say a uh, uh, so-called deputy or something. But hey, let's look and see who this guy is. Maybe we can uh, find this guy. Okay, because if it's the Ukrainian, that loses a lot of credibility. And here he is. Said he clan and is he from Ukraine? So I think lost credibility, or at least look at it a little bit, uh, you know, uh, doubt it or be skeptical. So Serhi Vlodomirovich Klan, Ukrainian. Palapap is a Ukrainian politician. He was born in uh, Mykolaiv Oblast uh, in 2020. He became a member of the Kherson Oblast Council for Petro Poroshenko's party's European Solidarity. He left the party in 2023. So he is still a council. He doesn't say that he, he left the party, but he is right here, the member of Kherson Oblast. And here they say that he is the deputy of the Kherson Regional Council. So I hope this guy is legit from this side, not from this side. So they tell us, hey, the enemy is running or it's uh, evacuating. When the Ukrainians uh, report evacuations, mandatory evacuation, they report on their own. Now, this guy is reporting on the Russians that are conducting evacuations. I am very skeptical that this is true. But uh, I need more information. Let's see if these guys provide us with information. And I'm quoting, the Russians announced the evacuation of the population from the occupied Nova Kakovka, he said in a statement. Why don't they use the Russians? They would bring more um, you know, credibility to the uh, statement. 
As noted, those who want to be taken to a safe territory must register and gather near the hospital on December 13th. It is unknown where and under what conditions they will be taken. Klan uh, reminded that after the previous evacuations, people ended up in the most depressed. Okay, now, okay, they're all bad. As reported in the 20 kilometer zone from the Dnieper into the TOT of the Kherson region, the humanitarian situation is deteriorating. There is no electricity, heating, or access to medical care. In the temporary occupied territories, the Russians are trying to create a picture of normal life, uh, right, life through a PR not actions, blah, 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 tra la. In the fall of 2022, the armed forces of Ukraine liberated the right bank of the Kherson region, including the city of Kherson. The part of the region located on the left bank of the Dnieper River is temporarily occupied by Russian troops. So, um, yeah, if you want to uh, believe uh, this guy that the Russians are evacuating, then that means the Russians are losing over there. Now, if this is just a propaganda uh, piece, then the Russians uh, are not losing over there. But it is true that at the front line, um, the situation is not rosy, however we want to portray it, especially if both sides are um, shelling one another. And over there is just the Dnipro River and across is the town. So obviously uh, the Ukrainians could shell the town and the uh, region. So. I'm going to wait and uh, keep an eye on this to see if indeed the Russians are evacuating. If the Russians are evacuating, that means the Ukrainians are obviously advancing. And um, because that's the way it is, um, the Ukrainians no don't like it when uh, I say that they are evacuating because the Russians are advancing. Because why would you not? Why would you evacuate? You expect something bad to happen to you. What could it be? <laughs> Those guys are going to come over. So the same here. If that's the case, that means the Ukrainians indeed have a, uh, a bridgehead over the, the Dnieper River and the, if they're able to uh, cross the, the river with more troops, you know, land on the other, the other bank of the river, the other side, then they could probably push towards uh, Nova Kakovka. We'll, uh, we'll see if they're going to uh, tell us more about this or it's just going to be an attempt to demoralize some uh, Russian troops. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.